Hey kids, I'm so excited about today. We have an awesome service planned just for you. To get started, we're gonna enter into some praise and worship. So stand up and get up on your feet. But before we start praise and worship, let's go to God in prayer and invite him into our service. So let's pray. Father God, we just thank you for this day. And Jesus, we just invite you into our homes. We ask that you would come and have your way. Lord, as we open up our heart, we ask that you would just touch us and help us to receive everything that you have for us today. And in Jesus' name, everyone said, amen. All right, so I hope you are up on your feet and ready for praise and worship because here we go. Gotta tell the good news ay -oh, ay -oh. The armor of God and the shield of faith ay -oh, ay -oh. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray ay -oh, ay -oh. I put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God First things first, you got the bell to truth I gotta tell the good news ay -oh, ay -oh. The armor of God and the shield of faith ay -oh, ay -oh. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray ay -oh, ay -oh. Put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one Put on the full armor of God The full armor of God the evil one to put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. Now in faith we can stand, stand, stand against every evil plan, plan, plan. Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong. He has won. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. Against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God I love those songs we sung today You know, to never give up No matter what we face And if we put on the full armor of God We can stand firm against anything that comes our way You know, today is a very special day 
Not only do we have the privilege to come and learn about God's Word and to worship Him, but we also get to thank some very special ladies in our lives. Do you happen to know what today is? Oh yeah, you know what today is. Today is Mother's Day. Moms are so amazing, and some of you had some pretty interesting things to say about your mom. Check this out. Okay, so first question. How old do you think your mom is? 35. 35? Ooh, that's a good answer. I think 42, but I'm not quite sure. 42? Maybe 43 because she had a birthday. Hopefully she's 42. 42 or 43? <laughs> Sounds good. 30. 30. That is a good guess. You know. I forgot. You can just guess. It's probably like 21 or something. 21 or something. I'm sure like that. 32. 32. Okay. Is your mom a good cook? Yes. Yes. She does every meal and amazing. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Is she? What is your favorite food that she makes? Um, macaroni and cheese. Mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. No. She doesn't make best food. She doesn't make the best food? Mm-mm. How come? What's your favorite thing for her to make? Um, not vegetables are good, but um, I love best is um, cooked sausage. Cooked sausage. So is that why she's not a good cook? Because she makes a lot of vegetables? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I sing who my sister and my mom are. Your sister and your mom are. Oh, you got two good cooks. Lucky you. It's always going to be buttermilk. Buttermilk? Buttermilk makes oh. Is your mom a good cook? Yes, definitely. Yes. What is your mom's favorite thing to do? Spend time with her family. Spend time with her family. That's my favorite thing, too. I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> No. What's her, her, her favorite thing to do? Like if she could just do anything. Not work. Not work. <laughs> just relax. That's probably her favorite thing. Huh? I mean, she doesn't like to do her work, so. Maybe. <laughs> games. Games? Our family loves games. You love to play games. What's your favorite game to play with your mom? Um, I like Race to the... Slide. Race to the, the slide, shoot some ladders one. Probably does, she barely does TikTok cause. She likes TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fun to look at sometimes. Yeah, she mostly does books. And she reads books, that's good. I don't really know, but right now it's painting in her room because she got a big painting thing for Christmas. Oh, she likes so to paint in color by number. Oh. So that's what she's been doing mostly right now. Mostly wool. Mostly work. And that's spend her time with me. And spend time with you. I bet that's Mostly her favorite thing. she squishes me. She squishes you with lots of hugs and kisses. And she squishes me by going on me. Oh. <laughs> on the she's, bed. She's picking on you, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is something your mom always says to you? Like every day, she always says it. Do your schoolwork. Do your schoolwork, yeah. Clean your room. Clean your room, <laughs> yeah. You're cute. You're cute. <laughs> naughty words. Naughty words? Your mom doesn't say naughty words. Sometimes. Are you tricking me? Like what? What does she say? Brantley, stop doing that. Is that what she says? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think those are naughty words? <laughs> yeah. Probably clean your room. <laughs> clean your room. <laughs> she didn't say anything today. <clears throat> she didn't say anything today. What is your mom really, really good at? Cooking. 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 She's good at cooking that mac and cheese, huh? Helping me with Play-Doh. Helping you with Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. Is she a really good Play-Doh maker? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's most probably just reading. Reading. She's a really good reader. Probably cooking. Cooking. <laughs> she Special talent. Softball. She's a good softball player. If your mom was an animal, what animal would she be? Penguins. She likes those. Penguins, because she loves penguins. Um, a bear. A bear? 
A dog. A dog. What animal would I want her to be, or what animal would you want to be? Either. I'd want her to be a horse so I could ride her. <laughs> okay, be a horse. Oh, that's easy. It's a bear. She a bear. Loves bears. She loves bears. I have a dog. A dog. So if I could get my dog a worn out mommy. <laughs> okay. How do you know that your mom loves you? Tell them what she does for us. She puts everything new, like already said, a thousand times. Um, she takes care of us, she provides food for us, and she buys clothes for us. I am special. Because you're special to her. So yes, you are. Because she tucks me in good. She tucks you in good. How do you know that your mom loves you? Cause she's nice. Cause she's nice. Because she cooks for us. Because she cooks for you. Yeah. I'm sensing a theme. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Um, because she, because I, we, I always go in her room when she's done with work, and then I jump, and then I jump on the bed, and then I lay with her. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day, Mom! Moms do so many things for us. Their to-do list is like on and on and on. It's like never ending. And one of the things that my mom used to always do for me, and I was so grateful for, and that's fold my socks. So, I think we should play a little game of sock matchup. All right, so I have here Riley and Lola. And we're going to play a game of sock matchup. So, this is going to be a game of the girls versus the boys. And you're going to have 30 seconds to find a match of socks and fold them over and place them on your side. Okay, so 30 seconds. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Are you ready at home? Okay, here we go. So you can begin in three, two, one, go. All right, if you're going for the girls, let me hear you. Oh, yeah. And if you're going for the boys, Cheer them on. Great job. Come on, Riley. Match those socks. They have to make sure they match. Make sure they look just alike. That's how you know they're a match. Come on, Noah. Great job. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Stop. <laughs> those are <were> socks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we need to see how many matches you have, okay? We'll start with Raleigh first, okay? So we have one, two, help me count at home, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome job, elbow. <laughs> All right, so seven for the girls. Let's count the boys, okay? One, two, three. Are you helping me at home? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 and 13. Way to go, Noah, elbow. Awesome job. So the boys take this game of sock matchup. Thanks for playing and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that game of sock matchup as much as I did. And remember the next time that your mom is folding socks, help her out. Now it's time for us to prepare our hearts to receive the word that God has for us. We've been learning about God's everyday armor, and when we put on God's armor and we rely on His power, then we can stand firm against anything that comes our way. So now, 
Come with me today as we learn about the Good News Boots. Hamburger. Watermelon. I want a hamburger. I think it should be watermelon. Watermelon's the best. Oh, hey ladies, how you guys doing today? Just out enjoying the beautiful weather. Yeah, taking in the sunshine and listening to the birds. Oh man, it's a beautiful day for that. Okay, well that's so funny. Is it my hair? My, my shirt? Or do I have a booger in my nose? Well, it's not your hair or your shirt. And you don't have a booger in your nose. But, oh, those boots. My boots? They look a little big on you. Are you sure you got the right size? They're my good nose boots. Your good news boots? You look like you're waiting for a flood to come. No flood in the forecast. Yeah, the good news boots is part of God's armor. It's in Ephesians chapter 6. It talks about um, having the readiness of our boots, the gospel of peace. But why the boots? They look so big. So the Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 28, verse 16 through 20, the Great Commission. It's telling us that Jesus told his disciples, take good news to all the nations, all the world. And that means everywhere we go. It means when you go into your home, when you go to your schools, even when you go to Walmart, you're supposed to be taking the good news everywhere. And that's about Jesus and what he did for us. How he died on the cross for you, for you, and for me. Yeah, and the good news about Jesus is big. Kinda like these boots. Mm. Yeah, and sometimes we feel a little awkward because the gospel is really bigger than us. And so wherever we go, when we share the good news, whether it's to our family, or to our friends, or even to a complete stranger. Sometimes, you know, it just feels awkward and it's bigger than us. So the good thing about it is, Jesus told his disciples that if we go in his name, that he will go with you always. 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 But do they come in pink? I mean, I have to be stylish. I want some of those good news boots. How about you? Kids, I hope you enjoyed learning about the good news boots. Wow, McKinley, you have some good news boots. I sure do. And you should get some too. I should go get some. And kids, you should get some good news boots too and put them on and go tell everyone you know about Jesus. And to all the moms and special ladies out there, we just want to say, Happy Mother's Day! invite you into our homes, open up our, um, well, sorry, start back over. <laughs> I was supposed to say open up our hearts, but I don't want to say that. Ready? Five, four, three. I think I messed up there on the time. Yeah. <laughs> Should I? I don't want to go over this. <laughs> Can we just start with the countdown maybe? Okay. <laughs> So we'll have to do it again, okay? <laughs> no, so just keep counting. You're just you're practicing. Like you're getting it. You're getting it. I couldn't or see I can, I'll that you very well. Instead. Yeah, maybe yeah, that's you good. Do that instead? Okay. That would... I hope you enjoyed that game of sock matchup. I'm not ready. <laughs> and Jesus told his disciples that if you go in my name, that I will be with you also. Isn't that great? Yeah. Hmm? I think there's an always, because I'm waiting yep. for an always. Disciples, yeah. that if we go in his name, that we... Ah. You almost did. I almost had it. You almost okay. And hey, you should get some too. I should. That's so exciting that you got some good news boots. <laughs> Moms are, what, hold on, cut. <laughs> Moms do a lot of things. Okay. We need to practice. I need you to like practice saying it so I can see how loud you are. 
Alright, ready? Gonna count the three? One, two, yeah. three. Happy birthday!